make x the subject of this formula. So the formula is 4y is equal to square root of 3x minus 1 plus 5. So I want to make x the subject. So the trick is we need to isolate the x on one side. So the first step is I'm going to take away 5 from both sides. So if you take away 5 from this side, you have to take away 5 from this side. Okay, so this will become 4y minus 5 is equal to square root of 3x minus 1. So this and this gets cancelled. So let me rewrite in a different way with x in the front, x on the left hand side. So this is 3x minus 1 is equal to 4y minus 5. Now I want to get rid of the square root. So I do the opposite of square, which is square root, which is square. So I'm going to square both sides. So square root of 3x minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 4y minus 5 the whole squared. Okay, so now when you're squaring a square root, the square root uh, disappears. So this is 3x minus 1 is equal to, I'm writing this as two brackets. So this is 4y minus 5 times 4y minus 5. So this, I'll write this as it is. So this is 3x minus 1 as it is. And expanding this, so this is 4y times 4y, which is 16y squared. This is 4y times negative 5 is minus 20y. Again, minus 20y plus 25, because negative times negative is positive. So this is 3x minus 1. Let's simplify these two terms. So this is 16y squared. 16y squared minus 40y plus 25. Now what should we do? We should add 1 to both sides. So I'm going to add 1 to this side. So to add 1 to this side. Okay. So let me draw a line. So this is the left-hand side and this is your right hand side. So this becomes 3x is equal to 16y squared minus 40y plus 26. Now I need to divide both sides by 3 because this is 3 times x. So 3x divided by 3 is equal to 16y squared minus 40y plus 26 divided by 3. And that's your final answer. So x as a subject is 16y squared minus 40y plus 26, the whole thing divided by 3. And that is x as the subject. So here, in this example, I've taken an example involving square root. Now what happens if it is a square? Okay, let us look at this question. Uh, y plus 1 is equal to x minus 2, the whole square. So I'll write this in a reverse order. x minus 2, x minus 3, the whole squared is equal to y plus 1. Now, the opposite of square root is square. In the same way, the opposite of square is square root. So I, if I want to cancel the square, I have to take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root of x minus 3, the whole squared. Okay, now if you take the square root of a square, and this is a number, you have to put plus or minus. Square root of, okay, I'll explain this. This is very important. y plus 1. Okay, so let me explain that separately. So let me, so yeah, if suppose you have, say x squared is equal to 49. I want to cancel the square root, so I have to take the square root of the left hand side. So if you take the square root of a number of an or an expression, you have to do plus or minus square root of 49. So square root of square, the square gets cancelled, so x is 
I hope you know is plus or minus 7. So square root of 49, as top math students you should know, it is plus 49. The reason is because 7 squared, which is 7 times 7, is 49. But if you take minus 7 squared, again be careful when you're using a calculator, you have to put this in bracket. You don't need a calculator for this. So this is minus 7 times minus 7 or negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. So negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Okay. So here, square can square and square root cancels each other out. So this is x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus square root of y plus 1. Plus or minus is very important here. Now I have to add add 3 to both sides. If you add 3 to this side, you have to add 3 to this side. Okay, so this is one side and this is the other side. So this and this gets cancelled. So x is plus or minus square root of 5 plus 1 plus 3. 